The Armenian National Committee of Australia is here to serve the public affairs needs of the Armenian Australian community. For this reason, engaging our grassroots community members forms a fundamental component of our regular activities. We hold events that serve various purposes. Film screenings, which have included Screamers and My Son Shall Be Armenian in the recent past, allow us to educate and entertain our community. Urdzenadzes. He came from Efkere. Efkere is a small town in Gesaria. He lost his brothers and his father. I was born in Efkere. In 1909, I was born. Haratun was the youngest. I was the oldest. In between the two of us, there was David. It was a big village. There were 500 Armenian houses and 300 Turkish houses. Happy and normal. They were living with my father and mother and three brothers and sisters. Have one happy family. 1940, we had our family pictures taken. Everything was fine. Very nice family. Our participation in panel discussions on various issues, such as Armenian genocide recognition and nagorno karabakh stimulates the minds of our community members to encourage diverse thinking on issues of concern to Armenians in Armenia and the diaspora. The ANC Australia Enroll to Vote campaign has added hundreds of Armenian voices to the Australian electoral roll. Our scholarships, awarded to university entrants studying media, politics and history, help secure the future of Armenian Australian community. ANC Australia is Haitad. Issues surrounding the Armenian Genocide, Recognition, Condemnation, Reparations, Land, Reconciliation, these are all part of the landscape of activities that make ANC. 2009 saw our drive for recognition of the Armenian Genocide reach a significant milestone. This happened when South Australia became the second state in Australia to recognise the Armenian Genocide in both Houses of Parliament. This represented the first official recognition of Australia's humanitarian efforts to aid the victims of the Armenian Genocide. ANC Australia's goal will not stop there. We will continue until we achieve recognition by the Federal Government of Australia. In recent visits to Canberra, we have held a number of exhibitions and met with over 100 legislators. In the last year, we have had members of the House of Representatives and the Senate call for recognition of the Armenian Genocide in both Houses of Parliament. Many countries have officially recognised the Armenian Genocide. As yet, Australia has not done the same. This weighs heavily on me, particularly as my own grandfather was himself a survivor of the Genocide. He never knew the fate of his siblings and he had friends as they were presumably led to their deaths. Similarly, this lack of recognition weighed heavily on the hearts of Armenian Australians, especially when on the 28th of August our ABC aired the Family Footsteps program on an Armenian Australian who travelled back to the homeland of her ancestors. Throughout the program, the narrator refer, repeatedly refers to the alleged genocide. The doubt that is cast over what happened to the Armenian people by this offensive word has no place in an Australian television program. It is divisive and offensive. Being an advocacy group, it is ANC Australia's duty to be ready and reactionary if the interests of those we represent are threatened. Through our state-of-the-art website and embracement of social media applications like Facebook and Twitter, we have registered many successes with the active participation of our community. In 2008, national broadcaster the ABC used the term alleged when referring to the Armenian Genocide. Encouraging our community to write to the relevant authorities at the network using our web lobby system we were able to attract a correction in ABC policy in the next program it screened, 
in which the Armenian genocide was referred to with no derogatory qualifiers. A similar web drive was needed in 2009, when Federal Senator Alan Ferguson threw mud at South Australia's parliament for its then pending motion on the Armenian genocide, due to his personal friendship with the Turkish ambassador. Thousands of our communities signed their names to an online poll, which led the senator to apologize. Thanks to us bringing this to light, the Turkish ambassador was also cited by Australian media for his attempts to unethically influence the politics in Australia. Research by the Australian Institute for Holocaust and Genocidal Studies has revealed how regular Australians aided victims of the Armenian Genocide and how Australian POWs in Gallipoli lay witness to the horrors faced by Armenians in 1915. Both are a great source of pride for the Armenian Australian community. ANC Australia helped fund this research and is currently working on documenting it into a publishable form. Our research and educational unit forms a fundamental component of ANC Australia activities. The constantly evolving political landscape in Australia means we need to develop and maintain political relationships on behalf of our community. ANC Australia has signed dozens of Canberra politicians to the Armenian Australian Parliamentary Friendship Group. Along with members of this group, we have hosted four exhibitions in Parliament House, covering topics including the Armenian Genocide, the Armenian Economy, nagorno karabakh and the Armenian Relief Fund of Australia. A similar group also exists in the New South Wales Parliament, with recent inductees including Jonathan O'Day, Marie Fakara and Victor Dominello. It is the job of ANC Australia to ensure elected representatives are aware of the issues that concern our community and we gladly oblige. With your support, we are ANC. 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 With your support, together, we are the Armenian National.